Hi, it's Ginny Abs. We're back for round two of prepping and cooking our Thanksgiving turkey. So we just got done brining it for 24 hours. Go see the last video for the recipe. I took the turkey out of the brine and I washed all of the brine off. I then let the turkey come up to room temperature. And now here comes my favorite part, which is injecting the turkey with our seasoning. In this cup, I have a stick of butter, some chicken broth, garlic seasoning, some hot sauce, and Cajun seasoning. Before we start to inject, grab a spoon and we're gonna separate the skin from the body of the turkey. I take the spoon and I simply start at the cavity of the bird and put a little bit of pressure and allow the spoon to just get a little bit of separation. You don't wanna forget the legs and the thighs of the turkey as well. And then once you're done with the spoon, grab a fork, go underneath the skin again, and simply poke a few holes up and down the cavity so that more juice can get into the body. Now it's time to inject. Assemble whatever injector you have. I will put what I used in the description below. And you're simply just going to fill up the cavity with your juice. And then just pick and choose a few spots in your turkey and start injecting. You'll be able to see the cavity plump up a little bit as I'm injecting the liquid. I'm gonna go in spots that traditionally might get a little bit dry and just keep poking in there. Try to avoid the cavity if you can. You wanna make sure all the juice is going into the meat. And just continue to do this a couple of times until you feel like you've really got a good amount of juice into the turkey. Again, don't forget the legs. For the next step, I've cut half a stick of butter into slices and I'm gonna season them with Cajun powder or Cajun seasoning garlic powder. Now this is garlic powder, not garlic salt. You want to avoid garlic salt so you don't make your turkey too salty and then poultry seasoning. So that's what your slabs of butter will look like. Make sure you get it all over the top and the bottom. And then we're going to take those pieces of butter and put them underneath the skin. This is why we separated the skin in the beginning. Again, you want to make sure not to forget about the legs and the thighs. Of course, you can completely avoid this step of the butter if you have health issues and butter's just not healthy for you, but we're doing this full throttle, baby. You see, I got butter in all the hard to reach places. That's what you wanna see. Now for the next step, I am going to put avocado oil all over the turkey and put the seasonings that we just put on the butter on top of the turkey. The reason why I use avocado oil because it's good for high heat situations and avocado is a good fat. So we're adding all these good, healthy omega-3 fats to our turkey. And you just wanna make sure you get it all in the crevices so that the seasoning sticks to the turkey. Again, garlic powder. Next up is Cajun seasoning. Get it all over your bird. And then last, but definitely not least, poultry seasoning. And you can go very heavy handed on the poultry seasoning. Ooh. The last step is to drizzle a little more avocado oil to get it nice and wet again. This time we are gonna add a little bit of salt and we're just gonna give it a good rub down. Stuff your cavity with some vegetables. I'm gonna go onions, a little bit of apple, and this really is just to add a little bit of additional mass to your turkey so that the turkey cooks a little bit evenly. I am not one of those people that puts stuffing inside of the turkey. I prefer it to just be clean and flavorful. Last thing to point out is my turkey came with the thighs um, already connected, but if you don't have this contraption, then you wanna get some twine and tie them together so that it cooks evenly in this area in the crevices. 
Okay, our turkey is ready to go onto the smoker. I'm gonna cook it for the first hour and a half at 275, then I'm gonna turn it up to 300 until it's done cooking. We wanna make sure the internal temperature of the turkey gets up to 165 degrees, so I'm gonna use thermometers throughout the cooking process so that we make sure we don't undercook it or overcook it. Okay, I'm just gonna stick it on my smoker. It doesn't matter how you put it in because I'm gonna rotate it throughout the cooking process. Then I'm going to stick in the probes for my thermometer and attach the thermometer to the side of the smoker. After about an hour, just do a quick rotation of your turkey. And if you have any side of the bird that's heating up faster than it should, face that away from the fire. Baste your turkey throughout the process whenever you want. Don't worry, that red is just from the red onion. Your turkey is done when it hits 165 degrees and holds at that degree for one minute. Look at how delicious this looks. I want you guys to focus on the juices that run out of this hole when I pull out the thermometer. This is going to be so juicy. We just took the turkey off. We waited until the internal temperature reached 165 degrees. And let me show you guys what this looks like when I cut into the turkey. First of all, that crust is amazing. And look at the juice from the injection just dripping out. You can see the juices running right through the knife, right through the cut. You can see where we injected all those juices coming out. 